My name is Karen and I drive a 1995 Guards Red 993 Speedster. Everywhere we take the car, the most common thing we hear is Porsche should have made these. The factory officially made one. It was one that they built for one of the Porsche family members, Bootsy Porsche, for his 60th birthday. Um, then a couple years later, Jerry Seinfeld purchased a, a 1998 Polar Silver 993 Cabriolet and then shipped it back over um, to their Special Wishes program and had it converted into a 993 Speedster widebody. And that one was kind of the inspiration for the one that we have today. What we owned was a 993 wide body coupe, which was the only configuration that the wide body was offered in. You couldn't get it as a cabriolet. My husband, he had noticed in the photos that the one that Seinfeld had had a for sale sign, and so he contacted Seinfeld's broker. Jerry had decided he didn't actually want to sell it. My husband asked, what would you do if you wanted one of these cars that you know the factory never provided? So we got some input on that and kind of started doing a search. We were really fortunate because the car that we found had the conversion already begun on it. It had the Speedster humps, it had the Speedster windshield, it had the doors and the door glass, and the Speedster top, which are the major components. It was 2008, so it was just before prices on the air-cooled cars had really started to rise, so it was a great time to buy. The next step was really to find a shop that could do the work and a technician, a master technician that we trusted because this was handing over a huge project and we knew that. We wanted it done right and we would take as long as it needed. However, we also wanted to take it to the Porsche Parade in June of 2009 that was in Keystone. I'm smiling because when we started the project, I will be completely honest, I, I had no concept of what was going to be happening. We got it 24 hours before. We had seen it every step of the way. I'm sure the, the coach builder we were working with was so sick of us by then. But the, the revelatory moment was when we got to parade and other people saw it. I think it was Prescott Kelly was setting up the heritage display for the following morning's Concours and he zipped over on his golf cart and said, is that an original? Is that from the factory? I want that in my, my display. You know, where did that come from? And we had to say, it's not from the factory, it's all OEM parts, that's how we built it. Um, so it's as close to the factory as we could possibly get. It felt fantastic, it, and it, I, I didn't understand at that point what that car was going to mean to people, but that introduction has continued at every event we've been at for, how many years has it been, Eight, six years or something that we've owned it now? Every time people see the car, they have that same, just it's such a natural and enthusiastic reaction to it. It's really fun. I mean, it was more than worth the work. We go to a lot of events. We've taken the car coast to coast. I think there was probably a point in time where, yes, car events were exclusively kind of a men's club, but that has definitely changed. Um, everyone is welcome, and that's one thing I've noticed in the Porsche community in particular. It is not a, an exclusive community. When I arrive as a woman at a show, people don't treat me any differently. I could not be there, frankly. I tell people that all the time. A monkey could be driving the car. <laughs> and, <laughs>